Hey guys, welcome back to our Common Questions and Misconceptions series. This week we're going to be taking a look at charging your towed vehicle, and we're also going to be specifically looking at our towed battery charger plus in a couple of these questions. So let's get started. Our first question is going to be, do I need a charger anytime I go to tow? And the answer to this is not necessarily. We did touch on this a bit last week when we talked about braking systems, but the presence of a braking system, especially an RVI braking system, doesn't necessarily mean that you need a charger. Especially, again, when we're talking RVI, our braking systems have an extremely low power draw, so we're really just compensating for the towed vehicle, not for the presence of a third-party device. That being said, every vehicle does have a different level of parasitic drain, so there's some vehicles like Jeeps that are very, very low on that scale, and you probably won't need a charger when you tow, unless you wanted it for peace of mind. Then there's other vehicles that are extremely high on that scale. So if you're unsure what kind of category your vehicle falls into, make sure to check out our specific vehicle products page. Again, we did touch on that last week, but I'm just gonna reference it again uh, because it's such a useful resource if you're not sure what you need in addition to a braking system. So make sure to check that out. So the next question would be, all battery drain and chargers are created equal, right? The answer to that is no. Again, every vehicle has a different level of parasitic drain, so the amperage that is being drawn from the battery varies pretty drastically um, you know, between different cars. So it's very important that you get a charger that meets the drain of your specific vehicle. Now, our battery charger, the Toad Battery Charger Plus, can handle up to 10 amps, depending on what's being put out by the motorhome. And for most vehicles, that's gonna be more than sufficient. Most towed vehicles, even those with a fairly high level of parasitic drain, are gonna top out well below that 10 amp threshold. Um, however, there are a couple vehicles, the Chevy Equinox specifically comes to mind, uh, that are very popular towed vehicles that have a much higher level of parasitic drain. Even in the Equinox, for example, pulling fuses and that kind of thing, you're still probably going to wind up needing a higher amperage charger than what our Toad Battery Charger Plus can provide. You're probably looking for something in the 15 to 20 amp range. So make sure when you're looking for a battery charger that you are aware of what its amperage capabilities are because that's gonna make a big difference depending on your towed vehicle. Again, the towed battery charger plus and its 10 amp, 10 amp threshold is gonna be more than sufficient for most towed vehicles. Um, and then there's also other devices that are just like trickle chargers that can just handle a few amps um, that can also work for other vehicles. But again, towed battery charger plus, 10 amp threshold, it's gonna meet the needs of most towed vehicles out there. Another question we see very commonly is, can I use a towed battery charger or the towed battery charger plus in place of a battery disconnect if my car says to disconnect the battery? The answer to this is absolutely not. I just wanna make sure this is as clear as possible. If your owner's manual of your towed vehicle says to disconnect your battery, you must disconnect your battery. There are no ways around this and no shortcuts. Uh, the, the battery disconnect, it doesn't just have to do with power drain. That's the reason why you can't sub one out for the other. Oftentimes when we're talking a disconnect, there's other factors involved. It might be shutting off something that needs to be off when you're towing. It might be preventing something from coming on that's very important, like a steering wheel lock. So there's other factors at play that make the battery disconnect a requirement. And just by subbing out a towed battery charger or our towed battery charger plus for that disconnect, you remove all those other things from the equation that are very, very important to have in place. So if your owner's manual says to disconnect your battery, you must disconnect your battery. You cannot use a battery charger in place of that. Then the next question we're gonna look at is kind of closely tied to the, the previous question, and that's can I use both a towed battery charger and a battery disconnect together? The answer to this is a little bit complicated because really the answer is yes, but you don't need to. So when we're talking about a towed battery disconnect, again, as you disconnect the battery, you are removing any level of parasitic drain from the towed vehicle outside of maybe a braking system if you have one attached. And we've already covered how the RVI brake system specifically has a very, very low power draw. If it's the only thing on your battery, you're not gonna need anything to charge your battery. And again, you've got everything else disconnected. So again, it's really just a redundancy and a peace of mind thing at that point if you were to install a battery charger. But on top of that, it's, it's not something I would recommend because it just complicates the install. So basically, when you disconnect your battery, typically you're disconnecting the negative post of your battery or the ground to your battery, and that disconnects that circuit. If you attach a towed battery charger or our towed battery charger plus to the battery, our battery charger has a ground wire attached to it. And so that actually winds up completing the circuit on the battery. And so it basically is like you didn't disconnect your battery, which we've already covered how big of a problem that is. So 
you can't use a battery or a battery charger and a disconnect the normal way that you would. If you choose to use both, what you wind up having to do is you have to disconnect the positive terminal of your battery. Or if you want to be extra careful and extra safe, disconnect both terminals. So again, it's a lot of extra work and a lot of extra complication for really no benefit. You're not getting anything out of it because again, you're just compensating for a break that already isn't going to kill your battery. So at the end of the day, yes, you can use both together. We really don't recommend it though. There's not really any reason to. So for our fifth and final question, we're gonna look at specifically RVI's Tow Battery Charger Plus. So this is kind of a two-part question. We see them often together, so that's why I put them together in this video. But the first part of it is, do the lights on the Tow Battery Charger Plus flash all the time? And the second part is, does power ever flow backwards? So in answer to the first part of the question, the answer is no. The lights don't flash all the time. Basically, the trigger for the lights to start flashing is any kind of power input. So if there's power coming from the RV through the umbilical, or if you were to start the towed vehicle ignition. Both of those are considered power inputs. That will start the lights flashing. Let's say that power input goes away, so you stop towing or you shut off your towed vehicle. The light will continue to flash for an hour afterwards, and then it will shut off. And during that hour, that the light is the only thing that's really active and it's drawing milliamps of power. So it's not a concern on your battery. You can leave it installed under the hood permanently and be just fine. And then in answer to the second part of the question, does power ever flow backwards? Again, the answer here is no. We've got a series of diodes in place in the Toad Battery Charger Plus that prevent that. So again, leave the Toad Battery Charger Plus installed under your hood at all times, and you won't ever have to worry about your battery or anything else. Thanks again for joining us in this series here, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions on anything we've covered in this video or anything else on our channel, don't hesitate to reach out. We're available by phone, chat, or email. In the meantime, happy RVing.